of 10 at 10 continues with no weight weather. Well, it's very slippery out yeah. there. In yeah. and around the FM area, the winds really polishing off the roads, yeah. the snow kind of continuing to drift over the top of the road surfaces. So heed that advice. Mm -hmm. Taking a look outside right now, it has not warmed up. It's seven below zero. Feels like 24 thanks to those winds from the northwest blowing at nine miles per hour. And taking a look elsewhere, Grand Forks right now, the snowy dike and the lit bridge, eight below. Feels like 28 below. Winds there closer to 15 miles per hour. Northwest winds tugging colder area, and it's the wind chill that's the story tonight between 20 and 35 below zero. Right now, some of the strongest winds out in Lakes Country feels like 30 below in that Fergus Falls area. And we do want to let you know that parts of southern Minnesota uh, travel not advised. That's southern Minnesota and southwestern Minnesota. Actual air temperatures approaching 10 below zero. In Balmy, Roseau, Minnesota, eight below for Babe the Blue Ox in Bemidji and two below in Jamestown this hour. That's the same reading in Oaks. Generally, winds are between 15 and 30 miles per hour. Notice still gusty in and around Otter Tail County right now. And the strongest of the winds are mainly to the south. Those winds causing some blowing snow. This was earlier today. Thanks, Zachary, for sharing this. Zachary traveling back from the Bison game. This was near Wa Watertown in South Dakota. Whiteout conditions there. Be prepared for that. And as mentioned earlier, have that survival kit in your vehicle should you become stranded. Here's a couple of things that you could keep in that survival kit in case you get stranded. A little cat litter and a shovel will be good to maybe help you get some traction on those tires. Clear skies across the valley have really allowed things to cool off out to the west. There's warmer air way out there, and on that boundary, some clouds and some showers of snow out in the western Dakotas. Snow moving through the Great Lakes and really starting to pile up in some locations. But for us, snow, not the story, but the blow is windy, windy with dangerous wind chills. Now, as we head to bed, those wind chills are around 30 below. As we go through the overnight, we'll kiss 40 below in places at times as air temperatures dip between 10 and 15 below. We're talking about start your day temperatures up and down the Red River Valley and points west near 5 to 10 below for most locations and very wind chilly. So cover up as you're heading out the door in the morning and give yourself extra time to warm that car up and to get to work. Now, out in Minnesota, even colder. I think we'll see some teens below zero from Bemidji through Roseau, Lake of the Woods County as well with wind chills there approaching 40 below zero to start your day. Now, as we go through the day, a lot less wind and it'll be from the west. Peaks of sunshine here and there through the midday hour. Single digit temperatures above and below zero in Minnesota. Then, as we go through the afternoon, here comes some of that warmth out to the west. Clouds and a few flurries of snow down near Ellendale, maybe in Lamore County as well. But temperatures rising into the single digits for your afternoon as we go through the day. And again, the warmer weather will stay, but not so warm tonight. Wind chill advisory, most counties. Dangerous wind chills out there. 11 below to start your morning in the Fargo Moorhead area. Enough wind to make wind chills in the near 30 below category. Three below by the midday hour, and temperatures will rise above zero in the afternoon. But by the time the sun is getting ready to set, we'll be dipping down to around two degrees for your drive home. Elsewhere, your hometown forecast continues to show the coldest temperatures up in the Northland and out to the east where we'll have sub-zero readings in the afternoon. A little bit of warmth out to the west. And with all the ice on the ground, we have ice in the sky as well. And these sun dogs here, thanks to Murray for sharing those. That's from North Fargo. Planning forecast. Well, let's study this for a second. Wednesday, warmer. That's more better. As we look into Thursday, even warmer still. 25 degrees chance of snow late Thursday. And then it gets colder. Falling temperatures throughout Friday back in the ice box. As we go through the weekend, Martin Luther King Jr. holiday on Monday will start out cold, but we should top out just above zero for your afternoon. Oh, wow. Chilly. Yes. Oh, I think that's... Mm -hmm. What will it take to get you off the couch? Later on Valley News Live 10 at 10, what you Uber is doing, that's what they call it, Uber, is doing to provide the motivation. And up next, the newest recommendations on mammograms and why these are creating some controversy.